guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah, and welcome back to another Reddit Am I the A-Hole Knit Edition. So, do you have your cup of coffee? I'm using my Winchester Mystery House mug. I haven't used it in a while. Big Brutus is needing to be washed, so Winchester Mystery House it is. Mm. And... Excuse me. I am drinking Starbucks smoked butterscotch with Italian sweet cream creamer. And I've added a teaspoon of vanilla. And you know what? That's pretty tasty. If you like coffee, you should give it a try. Anyways, without further ado, it is Wednesday and we are doing... Reddit, am I the a-hole, as you already know, knit edition. The opinions that I give are just that, my opinions, and I am welcome to disagreements. You know, we all have our own opinions, and that's good. I am going to hopefully select three, if not two. Two to three, depending on how long it takes me. As you know, well, if you watched last week, it was quite spicy, and we only got through two. But maybe we'll get through three this time. And, of course, at the end, we will show something cute on Reddit that has to do with knitting. So, let's see. Can I find... Okay, so I guess this one is not necessarily knit. It's just fiber art related. And it is, am I the a-hole for rubbing a skein of yarn against my cheek in a store? And... As always, I will pop up their name right here, and let's get to it. So, I, 38 female, no makeup, went into a yarn store today with my parents while on holiday. Oh, and by the way, this was three months ago. So, we're, we're going on holiday, and the lady behind the counter asked if we needed help, and my dad said, they just want to see what they're missing out on, because my mom loves to knit and has so many different yarns at home that she doesn't really need to buy new skeins. The yarns were really gorgeous and my mom has knitted me a sweater recently, but there were all sorts of special colors and textures in the store of alpaca and silk blends and merino and cashmere and I was touching different skeins and occasionally rubbing them against my cheek to see how they would feel if they were going to be a sweater pull, pulled over my head. Okay. I have some sensory issues with wool sometimes being too itchy if it's against my skin. And so I was putting them up to my cheek to see if they felt soft or scratchy. I've done this throughout my life and never really thought about it. My mom often looks at the colors I'm holding up and decides if she thinks it's a nice color for me or not. We were talking about potentially making me a blanket but we're leaning away from that and all of a sudden as I look on as I took one of the skeins up to my cheek the woman working at the store said please don't do that other people will have to buy it you know I tried to explain that my cheek is more sensitive and she said the back of your hand should be enough other people will buy it I felt humiliated and quickly left the store I was genuinely browsing the yarn and could have bought wool with my mom so she could knit she could knit me uh, something and we're not poor so we could afford the yarns there. And in parentheses she says, but we seem to imply that I was just wasting her time. Oh, but she seemed to imply that I was just wasting her time. But then I thought more about it. I think what felt humiliating humiliating was the idea that my cheek was contaminating the yarn like people try on clothes in stores all the time and I've never thought oh someone else's skin has been in this sweater before I bought it that's a true statement <laughs> it's not new anymore and I guess I'm wondering now if my cheek cells have somehow ruined this yarn for a future purchaser I think special yarns spe specifically tend to have little natural oils in them 
anyway because they're wool. But maybe I'm just ignorant and have been ruining future knitting projects and making it harder to sell skeins of yarn at lots of stores. Am I the a-hole here or was she inappropriate? Alrighty. Um, where the wilderness sells? Well, I, I can't. I can't see the name very well. Anyways, I would say no. Um, because your cheek skin is the same as your hand skin. And actually, people, I touch my nose all the time. And so, if you think about it, if I touch my nose and I get any kind of snot on my fingers and then don't wash my hands, I've transferred that onto other things regardless of what I'm touching doorknob table uh, yarn whatever it may be if I happen to touch my nose and it gets snot on it and I don't clean it then it's that's just as bad if you want it if you really think about it and and we touch everything all the time and I don't think that touching your cheek because you could touch your cheek and then touch the yarn. It's the same difference. So I would say no. But let's see what Reddit has to say. Um, but, 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 but. So the first comment says, I understand the lady. The difference to a sweater you buy in the shop is that even if other people have bought, bought it, you bring it home and wash it. The yarn someone sits and work, sits and works with, and can therefore be seen as less hy hygienic. I know I wouldn't like it at least. Okay, they didn't say whether or not she was the a-hole, but she just explained that the store, the person, the employee's point of view, and I, I, I can understand that. I definitely can understand that. Uh. Someone else says, uh, gotta say, someone rubbing their face on yarn I had purchased grosses me out. Thank you for this new fear. Hands can be nasty, but generally washed throughout the day. But your face has the added bonus of saliva and eye secretions, and also the possible addition of demotech mites. Okay, demotech mites, what? which live on the cheeks and face in general. I totally get you didn't mean it, but now you know. Yes, the a-hole. <laughs> okay, so I can, under I can, I, I can. Someone else says, yes, the a-hole. Other people don't know if your skin is clean or not, or if you have something contagious. And no, specifically, specialty yarns don't have a, little natural oil in them even if they did that's not an excuse to rub your face on the yarn clothes that are tried on are often washed after they they're purchased yarn isn't that is definitely a true statement uh, so far i'm seeing everybody saying yes the a-hole yes the a-hole as a knitter who tries to buy from brick and mortar stores that's gross i don't want to buy yarn that's been rubbed on your face someone else says yes uh, yes, the a-hole. Do not rub yourself on things that don't, I'm assuming, belong to you. <laughs> uh, someone else. Yes, the a-hole. Crochet are here. In a fiber work group with immune-compromised and autistic people, this con consensus is don't do that. The consensus is don't do that. You sanitize your hands before you touch merchandise, or you should, or you should. Everyone should. Don't be rubbing, rubbing your actual face on materials that someone else is going to work with close up for long stretches of time. That said, I also have sensory stuff and can't abide, can't abide scratchiness. Try the inside of your wrist where a, where a sleeve would touch to test the feel of a fiber. If it 
it should give you the same information as your face or neck. Honestly, probably better than your fingers. Well, yeah, definitely better than your fingers. Okay, so Reddit deems this person the a-hole. I mean, literally, yes. Yes, the a-hole. Yes, the a-hole. Yes, the a-hole. Um, but, yes. Everyone is saying yes, the a-hole. I... Yes, you should be washing your hands. And yes, your hands should be clean throughout the day. And you should be putting hand sanitizer on them. However, how many people actually do that? I don't know. I don't know. I guess, yes, the a-hole. <laughs> on to the next. Let's see. All right. <clears throat> So, this one, am I the a-hole for not replacing my wife's knitting yarn after I accidentally threw it away? This is, here's the OP. Whoops. Where'd it go? Okay. So, dog reading books, I believe. Oh, that's the mod. I'll go ahead. I'll put them down. Because I don't see. Anyways, this is from like three years ago. So we went from three months ago to three years ago. And the person posted, Am I the a-hole for not replacing my wife's knitting yarn after I accidentally threw it away? I'm using a throwaway. I'm using a throwaway. Wife, wife uses Reddit and... I would rather her not see this on my account. Oh, so they're using a throwaway account. There we go. <laughs> She's being unreasonable at the moment, so I thought I would gather some perspective here. This morning, I was cleaning up around the house. Wife was still asleep, and I thought it would be nice of me to clean... Blech. Oh my goodness. I thought it would be nice of me to clean up her craft room, since it tends to look like a bomb site most days. <laughs> When she's working, um, mine, mine currently looks like a bomb site, and I'm not even working in it all the time. <laughs> there were lots of trash bags that I collected and threw out alongside the house household trash. The room looked much better, and I thought wife would be appreciative. Let me guess. Yarn was in the trash bags because... You know, I got my stuff in technically trash bags. <laughs> when she got up and saw her studio, she bloody well nearly had a breakdown and asked me in an aggressive tone what I did with her yarn bags. I said I threw it out because it looked like it, the other, like the other trash bags that were in the room. She demanded. I buy her all the yarn I accidentally threw out. At first I said okay, but then she sent me the links to this organic yarn and it's ridiculously expensive. I told her it was an honest mistake throwing it out, but I will not purchase an insane quantity quality of this yarn and burn a hole in my wallet. <laughs> Am I the a-hole for not buying her the yarn after making a stupid mistake? Do you know what? I did it on purpose. I effing despise how much time she wastes making stupid effing socks or bloody tablecloths. Maybe she'll get the GD message now. And sincerely to all of you, she's not going to leave me. She's got nowhere to effing go, but back to Romania, and I know for sure she doesn't want to go back there. Wow. What? Is this even real? Oh my goodness, is this even real? Okay, so as you know, I am getting uh, a portable studio wall that my husband's building. And he will move things around. And yes, it frustrates me to no end. But at least he doesn't throw things away. He does not do that. Um, the first comment 
literally stay the F out of someone's hobby area. If, and this is such a big if, if, if it's not even funny. They had talked about getting yarn storage. He knew the exact things she wanted and she, and he set them up and put them, put the yarn in. Okay, there's a nice enough thing. That's a nice enough thing. Indiscriminately throwing out bags, jail, right to jail. Not quite understanding that comment, but okay. Um, let's see. Someone said his update is, wow, looks like he didn't indiscriminately throw those bags out after all. What an a-hole. Yeah, so no, he's, because he did it on purpose, he's totally, totally the a-hole. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, okay. I, so this person uh, commented, holy crap. I'm usually annoyed by how quickly people jump to, the, to OP being an abusive monster, but this, this is genuinely emotional and financial abuse. I hope to God she gets some friends or something to help her get away from him. Wow, so that person's actually saying that she needs to get out of that relationship. Oh my goodness. But, okay, yes. He is totally, especially since he did it on purpose, he is totally a-hole and he knows it. He knows it. I don't know if this mess, if this story is true or not, but dang. Dang. Everybody's like, yeah. Everybody's mad at this person. They definitely, they blew it. They blew it. All right. Let me see if I've got one more I can do. Oh, that's a long one. All right. Well, I guess we are going to call it. We're going to put something cute now. All right. So this is friendly, cute toys. And it says, took all day to knit this Fennec Fox. I hope he turned out cute. And he is truly adorable. Adorable. He is adorable. As you can see here. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love him. He's so cute. I want one. Ah, So cute. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, I would love it if you would hit the like button. Leave me a comment. What did you think? Did you agree with Reddit or did you agree with me? Because that first one, I said they were not the a-hole, but Reddit said that they were. And, uh, yeah, if you'd like to be notified of any on all future uploads, I would love it if you would subscribe and click all on the notification bell so that you can be notified. I already said that. <laughs> Anyways. I hope you have a really great day. I'll see you next time. And remember, gravity works, guys.